Arm Virtual Hardware is a cloud-based offering that enables software development without the need of physical hardware, thus reducing your product design cycles. In this demo, I will show you how you can leverage Arm Virtual Hardware to easily create instances of virtual IoT boards, all within your browser, run applications on them, thus simplifying and accelerating your software development. Once you're logged into the website with your ARM account, select Create Device. You will be presented with a series of options, starting with the project to which you can add your virtual IoT board to. Let's select the default project and proceed. The virtual IoT boards can be launched either with stock images of an OS or custom OS or firmware that you have built specifically for the board. For this demo, let's select the pre-configured firmware option. On this next screen, you can now view all the available virtual boards that can be simulated. We're going to select the Raspberry Pi 4. The Raspberry Pi 4 comes with two versions of the Raspberry Pi OS, the light and desktop versions. Let's select the light version and proceed. On this final screen, you can give your virtual board a name and also configure advanced boot options, like the amount of RAM you'd like to allocate to it. Now all you need to do is select the Create Device button, and this action launches your virtual board in the cloud, ready for you to use and run your applications on. Creating the device takes about a minute to complete, so let's fast forward to the one that I've already created. As you can see, our virtual Raspberry Pi 4 board is up and running in the cloud with Raspberry Pi Lite OS booted on it. We can look at the boot messages on our serial console and enter our login credentials when prompted. This very much feels like running a physical board, only much faster. Let's try some basic Linux commands to look at the system information as well as the CPU information. With our virtual board booted up, we can run our applications on it now. No better first application to try than Hello World. There we go. Hello from our virtual Raspberry Pi 4. All the actions demoed here via the GUI can be scripted for command line usage via the API. As a result, you can take advantage of your virtual board for testing your applications with continuous integration and continuous deployment workflows. For example, I created a simple GitHub Actions workflow using GitHub Runner that triggers the run of Hello World on my virtual Raspberry Pi 4 instance anytime code is checked into my repository. Here's the log generated from my last workflow run. At the end of my workflow, I've also saved my build and test output as artifacts that will be used to generate test reports.